Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome to episode 15 of my Minecraft 1.18 Chill Hardcore Survival Let's Play. In the last episode, we built this wonderful dock and this wonderful little patio, and I am very happy with it. I think this turned out very well. Even have our own little boat docks here, our little boat storage. It looks very nice. And uh, the dolphins are having an absolute joy playing with something out here. I can't find out what. I think it may be some torches that we had dropped in the water. I'm trying to find them. Oh, no, that one's facing the wrong way. Oh, man, some of these are facing the wrong way. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, I think it's okay. And, you know, because it's a dock, I think that those boards should kind of be kind of randomly placed. I think that actually looks better. But anyways, we're going to be doing a bunch of spiffying up on the island today. We're going to build a bunch more trees. We're going to add little plants and stuff around. It's going to be a wonderful day. We're going to have finally... Add some paths. It's been too long, and we just said we haven't had any paths, and I, I can't stand it anymore. Now, someone did submit something amazing on the ideas, um, on my or on the suggestions part of my Discord server. So thank you to Nents. I think that's how you say it. N I N T Z. So thank you, Nents, on the Discord server. You really did help me out here. Now, before I build some of these, we're gonna need to go and grab a few more sheep. Um, I want to light up this area outside too, obviously. Um, <laughs> we built our supercar in uh, episode 13, so if you miss this weekend's episode, it's very exciting stuff. Go back and check it out. I believe there's some sheep very close by over here, and we are going to remove this darker stone. It does not look too good. Um, I'm going to figure out a good path material, because I don't like that one. I'm not exactly sure what we're going to use yet, um, but you'll be the first to know. Alright, so if I'm not mistaken, in our local village, I believe we have a few sheep ready to be sheared. Happily, I think. Where are you, sheep? Do not run from me. Nope, that's not a sheep. <laughs> so I don't actually know where any sheep are. I thought I did, but I guess not. So let me find some sheep real quick. Ow. Or I could just steal a few beds. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that. Maybe we don't just want one color of what I'm going to build. Maybe we want a bunch. White is what I was going for anyways, so hey. If I can't find any sheep, I'll just have to utilize the local resources at hand, if you could call it that. AKA their beds. <laughs> I feel bad because they can't sleep anymore. Oh, there they are. I didn't realize you guys were all penned up. Yeah, set free. Free, my brethren. Now, I, I feel kind of bad um, for, you know, that's probably their livelihood is, you know, selling wool and stuff like that. And I just took that away, but you know what? I don't actually feel too bad. You want to know why? Capitalism. Okay, we'll steal whatever bed is in here. Yeah, we got a lot of yellow beds and uh, a good bit of white beds as well. So I guess we're doing yellow and white, which is fine. That's kind of a tropical color is yellow. And you're probably asking, oh, there is a sheep over there. You're probably asking, Neo, what are you going to build here? And, uh, well, Nens knows. But again, thank you guys. If you have any ideas for the world, I say this a lot because, you know, if there's new viewers out there, just skip like 15 seconds ahead, okay, if you don't want to hear it. But if you're a new viewer, I have a channel on my Discord server, which to join the Discord server, there's a link down in the description below. But on that server, there's a channel on there called Suggestions. And you can give me ideas for this world. And if I use them, I will shout you out. And then your idea will be forever ingrained in the world. Um, because if we put our heads together and use our cr collective brain power, collective creativity, whatever you want to call it, we can make this world pretty dang amazing. So if you want to help become, or if you want to you leave your mark in the world, Go ahead and do it. All right. Anyways, we're going to go over here and we're going to add some benches. Now, you're like, Neo, what, 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 what do you mean a bench, dude? Like, we, we don't need those. We can't even, you know, you, like, what do you... You're probably actually, you're probably actually like, okay. <laughs> cool. And we also need to add a bunch of flowers. I, we got so much to do. We got so much to do. Um, I need more of those. So as you guys know, this weekend has been all about building stuff that looks good. And I really like this dock. Like I genuinely do. I think it's a nice addition and uh, it's even nicer to have like two boats set up in there. And I love the mixed wood type here. I'm really falling for that. I think it looks beautiful. So now that we have these, these, we just need some signs made of oak wood. And I believe, yes, I do have a ton of oak wood in stock. For the low price of free. It's a pretty good price, by the way. And I think our first bench, we're just going to do a white one at first. And it's going to be like over here, for instance, if you wanted a, a little bench. So we'll just put like, I don't really know where to put it. Maybe like just, yeah, just right there. You put a sign. And then you put a sign. And this is exactly how Nens did it. 
So thank you, Nintz. I appreciate you. Okay. And there we go. Now you got a nice little bench. Haha. -ha, that's pretty cool. I really do. That's kind of that that's nifty, if I do say so myself. That's very nifty. And we're gonna do a couple of those around here. I think being able to sit out and, and look at the big, you know, this makes me wish it was sunny where I am right now, but it's very cloudy, very, a lot of tornadoes in Oklahoma this week, so it hasn't been like a great week, a great sunny week, but you imagine sitting on this bench, drinking some, some, something, and looking at this, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> Anyways, I'll probably build a couple more. I don't want to have like too many and make it look too busy. I don't want to use my light blue bed either. I think we'll just go for a white one over here. Put it right there. They're pretty easy to build. Honestly, they look better than you'd think just for the amount of materials they take. I don't know. It's kind of ingenious. So again, thank you, Nintz. I appreciate it. Okay, I'm going to scroll through my Discord suggestions, see if I've missed anything that I wanted to do this episode. Uh, but if not, I want to get a bunch of leaves because I don't remember how many leaves we have, but I don't think we have enough jungle leaves to do what I'm intending to do. Let me just go check real quick. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Oh, never mind. We have more than enough jungle leaves to do what I wanted to do. Okay, sweet. That makes everything easier. Okay, let me read the Discord suggestions real quick. Yeah, as I'm reading my Discord suggestions, I remember I had a bird and its name was Whack. And I don't know where Whack went, but he's not on my shoulder. Oh, I don't have an iron helmet. Oh yeah, my arm. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, my uh, armor is a little bit, uh, a little scuffed right now. Well, do we even have enough iron to build a full set? Yeah, we do. Just barely though. So I'm going to put like all my old stuff like this into the chest over here. I think we're just gonna have like a remembrance pile of old stuff. So we have first old armor and then we have, I guess, old diamond shovels. I don't know, it's kind of a running joke because we've used so many diamond shovels already. Oh, there was already stuff smelting in there. Okay, sweet. Well, I'm gonna wait for a little bit of that to smelt. We'll make some armor. Actually, we may have enough. I don't know, is it 28 to make a full set? I always forget. You'd think I'd know these things by now, but I honestly don't. Yeah, I think it's 28. Okay, so we just need a few more pieces. Just two more pieces, which this is smelted for sure right now. Okay. So now we have a full set of nice, clean, brand spanking new iron armor. Wow. But yeah, no whack on my shoulder. So I do see an idea. Let me find their username again. And this is something I think we're going to do in the future. It's by someone named Trash Panda on Discord. Um, and they said you should make a villager trading hall shaped like a, you know, like a pirate ship or like just some sort of ship. And, uh, I do plan on building a big wooden ship out here at some point. And, uh, it's going to be probably, this is going to be like how you get onto it. Right. And it's going to be fairly large. And I think that is where we'll put our villager trading hall. That would be really cool. Um, obviously not something we're going to do right now. Cause that's kind of a huge project. We should probably focus on some basic stuff first. But yeah, I really do want to build this island out a little bit more. I feel like there's not enough stuff here. And uh, like at the moment, it's just kind of barren. And, you know, that's not like a bad thing necessarily. But I really do want to add some stuff. So I'm going to put a few trees down. We also need to figure out a path material. We don't have any paths. So let's do that first, actually. I think path material should be the number one goal. Because I'm tired of running around on the sand. Okay, my shoes, my, my iron boots get full of sand. And that's why they're wearing down so quick. You know, to be honest with you, I don't think that mossy cobblestone is a half bad idea. Um, the only bad part is we don't have any cobblestone. Uh, also, I'm going to go ahead and put up this stuff. Yeah, if we had more cobblestone, this would be a wonderful idea. And I do, I think I want to use mossy cobblestone. I feel like that would be good. You could even mix in like some stairs into the ground and stuff like that and have it look like a proper path. So we could do cobblestone and mossy cobblestone. Does that sound good? That sounds good to me. Uh, oh yeah, we <laughs> we could just go grab some cobblestone in our house quarry. Let's do that. All right. Well, I intended to grab cobblestone, and now I'm uh, discovering that uh, I guess there's a some sort of a uh, there's something below us. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what it is yet, so I don't want to speak as to what it is. Um. And I realize now we're going to need some ladders. Let's, let's, okay, before, let's not put the cart before the horse. I want to grab ladders and I want to grab glass because I have an idea. If it is an underground aquifer type cave, then I want to have like a really, I have like a really specific idea that would be really cool. Do we have the ladders in here? Yes, we do. Okay. 
cool, cool. And then I'm just gonna go grab some glass, which we have an enormous amount of, like way too much glass. So three stacks should be good. And then we'll sleep, of course, because it is about to be dark and I don't want monsters to spawn. All right, well, let's jump right in. Let's go find out what this thing is. Okay, so not bad. I think this looks pretty cool. It'll be kind of cool to look at from underground. Now, I do have to uh, drill over to my ladder here. Oh, I can just do this. That makes everything so much easier. Oh my goodness. Okay, so something like this. Now, I don't remember if ladders get waterlogged. I mean, they used to be, you know, something that would waterlog. You know, like they would make a pocket of air. No, they do not do that anymore. Okay, that's fine. Well, let's at least drill out the whole area. And then we're going to add like a glass wall. Does that sound good? Uh, we'll have to fill it up with something and then like remove it. But it, I don't think that'll be very hard, right? Like I don't No, it, it shouldn't be. It's not that much water. If I had sponge, I would use it. But I don't, <laughs> we, don't, <laughs> we don't have any of that, dude. I don't think we would fare well fighting in an ocean monument right now. We have, you know, well, you saw the armor we have. Not the greatest in the world. It does do the trick for the most part, but it is not the greatest. Not the greatest at all. Oh, no. That's a misplace. Can I, can I break you, good sir? Thank you. So I'm gonna build a little glass wall around this thing. If you kind of catch my drift, and I think that would make this thing look so much better, um, because you know we'll be going down the quarry and we'll get to see that. Hopefully, there's more that we encounter on the way down. If there's not, that's okay. But I have a feeling there's gonna be probably a bunch of these because we are next to an ocean, and usually oceans, if there's caves under them are going to have, uh, you know, water in them, right? So let me finish building this real quick. Okay, then I'm just going to go grab a bunch of sand. I got the wall all built down in there, as you can see. And I think sand will work just fine. We have a ton of it, and our shovel is at the highest durability, so I don't want to use our pickaxe and end up breaking that. Um, I just don't know how much we're going to need. should probably put some of this stuff up. I don't need, I don't need all this stuff with me. Only a little bit. Okay. I'm just worried this won't be enough sand. We'll see that. We'll see. I'll start filling it up and we'll find out together. All right, well, as you can see, this turned out wonderfully. And we can, like, see out there into the watery cave. Oh, this is so cool. So there's a little bit of magma in the corner here, which is nice, I guess. And, uh, yeah, everything went pretty smooth, I'd say. <laughs> my inventory's a little bit clogged up with sand, so we're gonna go put that up. But then we'll, st we'll, we'll continue mining. For oh, gosh. We'll con Jeez, I, like, closed my eyes for a second because they were getting dry and I, like, fell and somehow landed on the ladder. Don't ask me. All right, guys. Well, I think that's enough stone. Um, how much like actual cobblestone did that turn out to be? Okay, so four more stacks should be perfectly good enough. And uh, as you can see, we made quite a bit of progress in here. And uh, now we have a nice little, uh, nice little looking window. Doesn't seem to be anything down here. I do keep hearing spiders while down on the bottom of that, so maybe we're about to run into a cave too. That would be cool as well. I'll continue the same sort of glass thing down. That way we kind of have like an enclosed tunnel. I don't know. It could be pretty cool underground. Uh, but now I need to go and get a bunch of vine. Now to get vine, uh, which is what we need for mossy cobblestone, we're going to have to go to the jungle. And I did actually find a very close jungle. So I'm going to put up all the cobble... Oh, I'm going to put up all the cobblestone because I don't really need it right now. Um, including all the other stone variants we get. Put up the wool. 
And then any of this wood stuff. We don't really need any of it on us right now. Same goes for all this. I promise. We're going to get organized. The inventory is going to be organized right now. There we go. And then all we need... Oh, no. Oh, that's right. Okay. It's smelting. Um, we just need a few of these to be made into shears. So I don't know how many shears. I'll just make four... I, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be too many, but it's okay. It's better to have too few than or too many than too few And uh, I'm gonna sleep and then I'll show you where the jungle is. It's really close It's like just directly that way. It's not very far away at all. I'm kind of happy. I found it All right before we go on our journey. I'm gonna make something controversial Hey, I thought we had one more diamond. We had five diamonds. I made an axe Wait, what? I mean, I had five diamonds, right? And then I made an axe. Then we had... Oh, we made another shovel. Never mind, I was gonna make a... Okay, that's fine. All right, we'll make some out of iron. We'll make two iron hoes. And the reason we're making those is that I want to find a lush cave. And uh, hopefully in that lush cave, we can get a little bit of moss. I think that could help, like, you know, pretty up the island. And we could get a bunch of stuff down there as well. So it's gonna be a fun adventure. We're gonna look for an underground, you know... What are they called? I already forgot. <laughs> I don't know. The the new the new biome that has all that greenery underground. What is it called? I'll remember Azalea something. I don't know. Once we're in and once we are in one, we'll find it out. But oh wait, you know what? Maybe we should take maybe we should take our boat off of our adventure dock. Hold on. Oh, and we're running a little bit low on food as well, so Oh look the turtles are friends and they're hanging out on the beach. Well I'm glad they uh they came back. Now we need to wait till night and uh, give them some kelp and we can have some baby turtles. And then we can build you a little turtle house. How's that sound? They're like, yes, sound very good. Sounds very good indeed. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So I know I didn't want to eat steak, but I have a bunch in there. So we're going to get that to go eat because I don't know what else to get. The last steak has been cooked. Nice. Okay. Let's go to our adventure dock, which we have so carefully set up in the last three or last two episodes man i'm in love with this world it really is i i know i say this every time but this is my favorite hardcore world yet i keep thinking that's a creeper floating in the water we should probably take care of that but yeah this world's beautiful we even have our own supercar dude our own our own jamber weenie all right so it's over here it's really really far over here don't run into our glass tube so i'll do a little bit of a time lapse and uh i'll come back whenever we start seeing it And there you go, guys. The jungle in this world is just right there, which is really super duper helpful. And uh, I don't know if it's connected on that side via water or not. I have no idea. Well, you can get hurt on a boat. I thought that was a boat clutch. I guess you have to get into it before you fall. <laughs> I guess that would make more sense. Um, but yeah, it is very nice to know. Does this connect? I don't think so. No, it doesn't. That's okay. Um, but yeah, it's nice to know that we have this very close. Oh, hello, sheep. You got a big old group. Oh, my gosh. Now, that's deep. I'm not going in there. Got this big old wad of sheep right here, though. That's nice. I guess this terrain has not really been, like, loaded in yet fully. So, wow, that's big. Jeez, I would not want to fall in there. So, yeah, I'm here to collect vine. And uh, maybe, you know, if I find an abandoned temple or whatever they're called, an ancient temple. I don't even remember what they're called. Um, but I want to find an, under, an azalea. What are they called? Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. I just can't remember. But yeah, I'm here to get vines mainly. And then I'm sure we'll find one. They're, they're not like uncommon or anything. We'll just look for one of those special trees. So I'll come back in a bit. I'm just going to get a bunch of vine. <laughs> Lush caves. Lush caves. They're called lush caves. Lush caves. Yes. I remembered. All right. Well, while I'm getting vine and I remember this, I promise. I think this will be the last time I mention it, except for on Wednesday's video. 
I'm only going to do it this one week. I just wanted to tell you guys that YouTube enabled a feature for every creator on the platform now. Um, at least, like, I don't know, most creators on the platform, at least in the United States. Um, and it's called Super Thanks. So you guys know what Super Chat is when you're, like, you know, on a live stream. It's basically like the same thing, except you get a highlighted comment down in the comment section. Um, you just pay a little bit of money, a little uh, tip or whatever, donation, whatever you want to call it. And then you get to do something called a Super Thanks. And uh, so if you want to support my channel in that way, you can. But of course, just watching is more than enough. I'm not asking you to do that. I don't need it. I'm just saying that if you choose to do that, the options available. For instance, if you like another creator a whole bunch and you want to help directly support their channel financially, use the new Super Thanks feature. It's down there by the like button. It's kind of uh, in the shape of a heart, I think, with a dollar in the middle. I think. I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, be aware that's a new feature on YouTube. PSA. Public service announcement. If you don't know what that means, I don't know. Like, I don't want to, like, offend anyone if they think it's a bad one. Okay, so I had four stacks of cobblestone. I have four stacks of vines. I'm going to get a couple leaves as well. Wait, these are oak leaves. <laughs> oh, no. It's okay. We just need leaves in general. Any, any leafy material will do. Okay, that should be enough, because we already have a bunch. I just want to make sure we don't run out. Okay, now to go and find one of those azalea trees. That's what it's like. The azalea tree indicates the location above where a lush cave forest is below. Yes, I know all the Minecraft terms. Yeah, that's right. That's right, dude. Looks like there's another ocean over here, so a little bit of exploration mixed in, too. And I don't know if that's a desert. No, that's just a big old beach. Wow. That is huge. Well, that'll have to keep that in mind for sand. And I'm looking around. I don't see any azalea trees, so I'll just run around until I find one. When I find one, I will come back and show you. And we're going to dig a hole straight down, maybe. We won't go straight down because I don't want to lose the world. But, yeah, I'll come back when I find an azalea tree. All right, so no luck yet. I have been killing every group of cows that I see just because, you know, the leather is nice and I have some cows already at my base. So I'm not too concerned if I just kind of kill ones that are really far away. Um, and so far it's been nice. Oh, there's even another group over here and sheep. Now I don't kill the sheep. I shear the sheep um, in hopes that I can come find them again because I don't have any sheep and I want to breed sheep because I want to use wool. I don't know with what, but <laughs> you know, maybe <laughs> we'll figure that out. We're going to put the cart before the horse on that one. I don't have a need for wool, but I'll farm it in case I ever use it. I do want to build a giant hot air balloon. So that's actually going to require quite a bit. But yeah, 22 leather and 45 beef. So I've killed a couple cows, but yeah, no luck thus far. I, I didn't realize, you know, this was going to be so difficult to find uh, one of those azalea trees, you know, but I've got all day. I don't mind searching. It's just, I thought that would, I thought it would be a lot quicker, uh, but the cows are definitely keeping me occupied. That looks cool over there. Do you guys see that? What is that? Oh, there's more cows too. They seem to spawn in groups of four, which has been very useful um, because they're like all together. I hear... Well, I guess even if it is a zombie dungeon, it doesn't matter. It's too far away from me. But yeah, I was hoping... Is that a Zelia tree? It looks like one. I guess it's just a normal tree. Oh, my gosh. That's a big old hole. Jesus. You don't want to fall into that. I don't want to fall into that. I don't want to die. I don't want to lose it all. Anyways, I'll come back when I find an Azalea tree. Sorry, I just got, I just got bored. I wanted to give you an update on why I have so much leather and, uh, and beef in my inventory. I promise. Nothing sus. Just killing a couple, uh, couple of cows. Is that Azalea? No. Okay. Yes, dude. Finally. I've literally been traveling for probably like 30 or 40 minutes. It's been an absurd amount of time just to find one of you. Why are you so hard to find? Like, dude, what did I do to you? They really are hard to find, I guess. I thought for some reason it would be super easy to find and all that jazz, but nope. Hopefully this is a big one. Um, I had to pass over, remember that big crater that we had found, that giant one? Um, I had to pass over that funnily enough, and I went even further, and I was like, surely there's one out here, but nope. It was right here, even further. Okay, so I want to go about this in like the safest way possible, so I think a too wide hole will be uh, the safest thing to do. So just kind of, you know, go down where you go down and I'll meet you guys down at the bottom here. Got this rooted dirt, very nice. Oh, this is sketchy. Okay, well I'll come back when I reach the cave because I don't know how deep it is. It could, I guess it could be really deep. 
And is this all the way under the tree? That's cool. Nice. All right, guys. Well, look what I've found. A little bit of a lush cave. So let's break this block. And then we're going to do this safely. We're going to do this safely. Oh, gosh. Okay. I'll have memories to last season now. Oh, well, that's great. So it isn't the biggest one in the world. And that's okay. Um. Oh. <laughs> it ends right there. It's okay. I'm here, just here to collect stuff. I don't want to, like, live in it or anything. But... I was hoping it would be some big ginormous one. But that's okay. It doesn't, again, it doesn't need to be like super big. I'm just happy to have found one because I'd honestly started losing hope. I'd been looking so long. I was like, eh, maybe we'll just do without all those fancy materials. But some of these things look so good. I want to add like, you know, a nice pond to my island. And uh, wouldn't it be nice if we had like some drift leaves? Do you have to break these with any tool? Yes, you do have to break those. Ooh, we could get an axolotl. Come here, buddy. Haha, <laughs> we got the axolotl. So, I'm just gonna run around. Oh, my inventory is completely jam-packed full. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. I'll keep that, because we actually do need that. Uh, oak leaves are okay. Haha. <laughs> but yeah, I don't really need more than that. Okay. So, we're just gonna get drip leaves. We're gonna get all sorts of stuff while we're down here. Um, those other cool-looking plants, you know, the... Maybe even some of these vines. We're probably gonna want some glowberry vines. That would be very nice, but especially these bad boys. I gotta have these. These little tiny trees are perfect. I think you can even put them on sand. Now don't don't quote me on that. You know, I'm not for sure about that, but I'm pretty sure you can put them on sand. And uh, I think they'd fit just nicely on our island. So we're gonna collect everything we can. Of course, we gotta get the glow berries, of course. I'm not just gonna... Okay, we gotta pick them up. Um... <laughs> What do we... Moss carpet. I Yeah, I kind of want that. I don't need grass. Wait, why do I have grass? I guess I did try to break it. I just was curious. Okay, I wanted to see if you could pick it up. And then we're going to need a spot in our inventory for moss. But I think we have enough glowberries. But this stuff. We need a spot for that. I'm thinking... As much as I want jungle leaves, we don't need two. So now we get to go in here. And I'm pretty sure this breaks with a hoe the quickest. Yeah. Oh, that breaks it really quick, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, we're already full. Okay. Rooted dirt is pretty, but I guess I don't need as much rooted dirt. Man, I wish I had like an ender chest. That would be so helpful because there's so much stuff in here. Like, I don't want to like throw any of this away, but like I don't have the inventory room because like I'm going to be full on the moss again in 10 blocks. Hmm. I guess we can always come back here. What are the cords? Uh... What are the cords? Negative 6,600, negative 8,000. Wow. We really did travel like 3,500 blocks to get here, guys. So leave a thumbs up for that if you wouldn't mind. Is there anything? I mean, gray wool. Ah, no, nah, we don't have very much gray wool. Is there something stupid? Oh, dirt. Yes, we can throw away dirt. Okay, so I'm going to collect all this stuff. I'll be back in a bit. Shouldn't take too long. We don't need all of it. We just need a lot of it. And then uh, we'll be in a good position to go back. Sound good? Cool. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay. So I've still just been collecting in here. We definitely want to get this thing. Those are absolutely beautiful. This thing's about to break. So I'm okay throwing it away. If it means I can get at least one of these. Because, dude, these things are so pretty. And you can put them in so many spots. So I was looking around to try to find more. But they're kind of rare, dude. Like, they're not just like... Any old block, like I have not seen really any of them. There's been like a, you know, the occasional one, but that's like, well, that's the only occasional one that I've found thus far. And I'm trying to look up, you know, for the glow berries and the likes. And I think we, yeah, we have a good bit of glow berries. We don't really need to focus on those. Um, but yeah, I think I've pretty much ran this place dry. I don't think, well, maybe over there there's more. Hmm. Okay. Zombie, that's okay. Yeah, I think that might be more over there. I don't know. We'll go over there. We have a boat. I guess we could just go underground. This feels like the Caves and Cliffs trailer now. <gasps> pink. Pink, pink. I'm very glad I came over here. 
I'm sorry, Axelot. As much as I think you're cool, dude, I, I can go get more later. I don't... I, I care more about this. No! Oh, I thought we lost it. What the heck? No! No, <laughs> don't attack the close. Okay. Whatever. Well, at least I put him near some food, so now he's not hungry sitting in his bucket alone. You know, maybe it's more humane that he's not in that bucket, right? Maybe that's... Maybe that's better. And I realize they don't have to use shears on these, but for some reason I just keep doing it, so just... Don't bother me about it, okay? I know. I know the wrongness of my ways, but I I will never change. Uh, oh, there's another one right there. What the heck? So now we have three bad bad boys, okay? Is there any more over here on the ceiling? Just a skeleton waiting to shoot me. Oh, there is one. And it's guarded by the great skeleton of grandeur. Don't kill me. Don't even hurt me. Okay. Is there any more down there? I don't think. I think that's the end of it. Okay, so I'll grab this one. I'll head back home, and then I will meet you guys there, because it's going to be quite the journey to get back home. It's going to take a long time. Not something you're going to have to watch, though. You get to have the power of cutting. All right, I'll see you guys back in just a little bit. Oh, what? <laughs> How did I miss that? <laughs> of all the things to miss, I just missed this dungeon. Yeah, it's funny, because it doesn't have any loot. Okay, nope. Don't need you. Yeah, there's no loot in it, but hey, I will take the mossy cobble, actually. That's what we're working. Oh, we don't have any inventory space. Oh, there's a geode right here, too. Dude, this is cracked. How big of a geode? Oi, that was a big geode. Jeez, dude. Almost hurt, almost hurt myself pretty bad there. Okay, I gotta, I gotta do something to get out of here. Okay, and then it's right there. Okay, sweet. Look at those MLG bucket placements. No, please. No, dang it. Always sucks when you start falling faster than the water can fall. Okay. Well, that was a lucky little find. There's a geode. There's a dungeon. That's nice. Okay. Well, I'll meet you guys back at home. See you there. Guys, I hear cows. I've been digging for so long. I hate... I love this update, but I hate it at the same time because of... Uh, well, because of this exact situation. You want to dig back up? All right. Set aside 30 minutes of your time. Place your soul in the basket. And you may, uh, you may be able to grant it, you may be granted the ability to go home. Okay, so we made it to the surface. Looks like it was just becoming night, so that's absolutely perfect. Now I just gotta figure out which direction is home. Oh my gosh, can you, can you run any faster? Uh, now we gotta figure out which direction is home, because I really don't know. Like, I genuinely, that is the furthest thing from what I know. Um, okay. There's a village over there. That's not helpful. I'm looking for... Oh, I have 64 beef. That's why I couldn't pick it up. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so much steak. I really don't... I don't know what direction is home. This is bad. I don't want to just run around all aimlessly. But, like, I don't... Hmm. If only I knew my cardinal directions in this game. I'm just gonna guess a direction... I guess I, I don't I, I really genuine no I, I think it's this way I think if both coordinates go down yeah we're just gonna say it's this way I'm gonna run this way for a while then I'll come back and hopefully we'll be at home all right well I just ate my lunch I'm feeling good log back into the world I got home and I'm like I gotta go eat in real life but I ate so we're gonna go back into our house and uh, yeah let's get started on these upgrades all right guys we're back home and it, it, it really is so strange, just seeing a supercar in my driveway. But this area keeps lagging, and I can't figure out why. I guess it's the cows, but I don't think so, because there's not that many cows. I, who knows? Whatever. I don't know. I do know that I get to make this place look absolutely wonderful, which I'm very excited about. We have so much fun stuff to work with. So let's go put some of it up, first and foremost, so we can kind of get an inventory, uh, an inventory clean, because our inventory is absolutely just... Oh, it's just full of stuff we don't need. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. We're completely full. Okay. Maybe, like, direct, like, aesthetic stuff can go in. Nope. That's full. Nope. That one's full. Okay. It can go in here. So, we have to remember this is where, like, the aesthetic stuff goes. Less of the, the super useful stuff. Um... Stuff like that, I guess. Like leaves and the whatnot. And I don't know why wool is in here. Wool should be in here. Okay. That makes a lot more sense. Alright. 
And then that would be aesthetic. That would be, I guess. I mean, you could say whatever. Like, it, there's no real way to organize this. And we do have the stone, which is good. So we can go ahead and make those four stacks of this mossy cobblestone. Head to your local crafting table. What's craftable? The stone is. Let's go, baby. Okay. Uh, do we not have enough to make four? Oh. I still have another stack of vines in my inventory. Why did it tell me I couldn't make any more? Ah, who knows? Okay, but now we have four stacks of mossy cobble. And I'm trying to think, <clears throat> what else do I want to mix into my path? And I'm thinking moss blocks, probably. I think that would be good. Um, as well as, like, some stairs, like this. Just kind of strewn about randomly. I don't know. But we don't have our lighthouse, so we can't really make a path out of that side. But at least over here, we can start making a few paths. Because it feels weird not having anywhere to walk. Like, there's really no, like, rhyme or reason currently. You just kind of travel wherever your heart takes you. And that's not what I want. So I'm going to make a path over here to our pipe. I'm just going to kind of break it out randomly. And, uh, yeah. I'll come back. We'll do a little time lapse to see how the path looks. All right, now I don't know about you guys, but I think this path looks pretty clean. I like it. Um, obviously, I'm gonna add some stuff like to the outside, like fences and uh, you know, whatnot. Now this piece, there's only one piece that looks out of place and it's that one. And I'm sure as like, you know, the weeks go on, I'll kind of modify the path here and there um, because I'm sure I'll see places where I'm like, oh, this needs that or oh, this needs that. Because some places like this place looks a little thin. So we will add some stuff over here, stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, I'll kind of go around and make sure it looks good. Which I think, I think for the most part it does look good. So now what we're going to do is put some fence. I think I'll use, eh, I want to say probably jungle fence, which I think I still have some in here. We have oak fence too. We could mix them, but that makes it kind of hard because I got to like switch between them. But maybe, actually I have an idea. I can unlock the scroll wheel on my, uh, hold on, we're gonna try this. Maybe this will work, I don't know. Okay, and then, there we go. I was gonna say, I can unlock the scroll wheel on my mouse, so I could scroll like this, and then they would be kind of random, right? I mean, like, technically they'd be random. I think that would work. Oh my gosh, I need to lock my scroll wheel again. It's like scrolling around. We'll try that. And I don't know where this pink light comes from, but every time before I sleep, I think it reflects. Oh, that's the nether portal. Huh. Well, that's interesting. It calculates the light all the way from there over to here. Nice. Alrighty. I have my uh, scroll wheel spinning here. <laughs> I could just keep spinning it. It's pretty easy. You just kind of, I don't know if I can't really let you hear it, but. You just kind of spin it. Trust me, it works. So I'll spin it real good. And then we'll just kind of build the fence how we normally would. It's kind of like this. You guys know how I do with fence. And uh, hey, it's actually working out pretty decently. Okay, so something like that. That was actually worked better than I thought. Okay, now we don't have as much oak fence. So we have to kind of be careful here. I don't want to have too much of any kind. I'm watching the oak fence carefully here. If we need to craft more, we will. Okay, we can't have that. Maybe I need to do that and then like that. Okay. I just want to have enough at least for this little this this little part of the you know path, and then we should be good. I'll go ahead and break this here. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is like the this is like one of the weirdest ways I've used this mouse, but this Logitech mouse is like saving the day right there. Look at that, guys. <clears throat> now there's a few spots I need to lock this again we can finally put our inventory out of disarray into e array I guess I, I don't I don't know and then there's some spots like there's too much fence there we don't need all that and uh, yeah I'll go around and kind of mess with it that looks way too even 
Way, way too even. Oh, no, no, no. You can't have any evenness in your fence. There we go. Okay. Cool. I think that looks pretty good. A nice path, and then we'll kind of mess with it with, you know, putting jungle leaves and stuff like that. And the reason I left this open is eventually I'm going to build a path over to there as well. I'm not going to do that right now because I'm kind of tired. <laughs> I still have to record an episode for tomorrow, um, which we will obviously still do. Not for tomorrow, for Wednesday. Um, but I think we're going to go mining because we don't, <laughs> we don't, we just don't have anything. We keep running out of everything and I'm like, I don't have anything. It's like, I wonder why, dude, you only go mining once a week. But hey, the once a week mining has gone well so far. It's gone well. And I don't know where to put all these like flowering plants and stuff like that, but we're going to find a good spot for them. I think we could probably hang some of the glow berries off of our roof too. That could be kind of interesting. I don't know where it'll let you place these. I assume it lets you place them on sand. No, it doesn't. Okay. That puts a little hitch in my plans. That's okay. That's fine. Um, yeah, as far as the leaves go, I'm just going to kind of sparingly put them along the path like this. So it'll be kind of a painstakingly slow process, but I will do it. And then I'll come back when I'm done because I don't want to bore you guys. I don't want you to leave the video yet. We're almost done. We're almost done. Push through with me here. Okay, I ran out of jungle leaves, but I'll do that, then I'll call it a day. I don't know what else we're going to do. I'm sure we'll kind of figure it out as we go, um, but I am happy with how this place is turning out so far, which is good, because sometimes I'll build something and I'm like, oh gosh, that doesn't look good. Um, it'll look better once the you know there's more of the paths built. Um, I understand right now it may look a little odd because there's no other paths built, but uh, these kind of paths end up looking really good once they're more filled in and there's more stuff around. Um, like once I add more palm trees and the likes, stuff like that, uh, will really help elevate the whole build. I think at least. Okay. So something like that. And now you have a nice methy, methy. <laughs> you have a nice messy path of leaves and fence and it looks good. I think so at least. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and, uh, yeah, secret code for today is going to be... 9082. So put that down in the comments below if you want to show me if you watch the entirety of today's episode. Um, I guess I should put my boat back too. But yeah, I really appreciate you guys in, uh, watching this series so much. This series has been doing very well on the channel, which makes me very happy to see as always. Um, keep in mind also there is the new super thanks feature. I feel like I should mention that. Um, and then anything else I'm missing? I don't think so. I'll see you guys on Wednesday for another mining episode. I know it's funny. We always mine on Wednesday, but hey, it seems to work out pretty good and you get a little midweek mining episode. So we'll call it midweek mining or something like that. And yeah, I don't know this path. I like it, but like, it's just, hmm. I don't know. I'm sure as time goes on, we'll learn to like it more or something. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll end up changing it. I don't know. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next week. But if you have ideas for the path, anything that you think would make it look a little bit better, all you've got to do is put it in the discord suggestions. And uh, maybe if I like it, I'll just do it and shout you out. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Okay. I know the episode ended, but yes, I'm removing these leaves. It doesn't look right. <laughs> I'll have to figure something else out. Um, but yeah, these leaves, not the move, not the move at all. It looks kind of strange, a little erratic. Um, and it was kind of, it was messing with me. I kept looking at it and I was like, that just doesn't look right. And I tried to remove some leaves and make it a little thinner. Nah, it, it really didn't end up working out, but that's okay. You know, you, you gotta try things. And if you know, they don't work out, they don't work out. Um, but we can always change it up more here and there. I don't really know exactly what to do. Um, but we'll kind of figure it out together, guys. We'll figure it out together. I'm not going to do it right now, but maybe next episode before we go mining. Something like that. We'll build another path and then go mining. Who knows? Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Or, sorry. I say that, but you know I mean Wednesday. Okay, bye. Okay, I think I know what's going to help this path. I know I ended the video already. Um, I'm going to build the path around over here. Uh, I'm going to try to make it a little bit of a thinner path. It doesn't need to be as wide as the other one. And uh, this part of the path is going to go over to our little bridge over here. And then eventually we'll add another path going to the front or something like that. I feel like we use the back entrance more than the front anyways. So that's like perfectly fine. And uh, yeah, we'll have it lead over to like right here. And then, of course, we just got to kind of randomly place materials. It, it, I don't remember if I showed this or not. But yeah, you just kind of place them randomly. Sometimes double them up. Sometimes you don't. 
you know and, and if you just kind of have a variety it's it's pretty easy to like just randomly place them and then i got to keep in mind that there's moss blocks too so i'm trying to leave some spots open we'll do double moss there and then of course there's stairs as well you got to watch out for so we'll do moss there moss there 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 and there and then we'll do double moss here and then we'll start doing the stairs and then that way all three of them are kind of evenly placed and i kind of spin when i'm placing the stairs every time i place a stair i'll rotate that way it kind of you know makes them look a little bit more uneven i guess oh that one's upside down oh <laughs> i did it twice nice and uh yeah just rotate through it a little bit and then I'll go ahead and make more fence since we, I mean, we have enough stuff to make fence for days, dude. So I'll go make some more fence of both types, I think. And we have enough jungle, but I guess we don't really have enough oak. So I'll go do that. The sun sets in another beautiful day. Extended cut. Okay, so I think we have extra oak wood in here. I thought we did. I think we made it all at the stairs. Oh, no, we don't have any oak wood. Uh, we actually, we actually don't have any, do we? Okay, well, we got to go get a few oak trees, which is fine. I mean, they're literally, like, right here. We can take our new fancy schmancy path. Haha, -ha, that works perfect. And, uh, go right to our little, uh, forest that we planted. I think eventually we'll kind of remove the forest to have a lot of it planted. Maybe it's so I can block the neighbor's view so I don't have to look at the neighbor's ugly yard, you know, all this water and all this grass. Ugh. Gotta have a flat terraform plane to look cool, dude. Okay, let me get some oak wood. Welcome back to the director's cut of episode 15. Now we're gonna add some fence. I'm not gonna be the same person I am in the videos, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk like this the entire time. This is the director's cut. All right, we're gonna go over here. We're gonna. I'm just kidding. My voice is getting tired. I still have to record another episode for tomorrow. I don't. I don't like have to, but I know I really need to. And uh, mining is one of those kind of things where you can just kind of go and mine. And uh, kind of lose yourself, you know, in the you know, you know, Eminem style. You know, it it really isn't that bad. It's it's not like I have to go and like dig a fifty foot trench in the yard or something. It's not a little, real like laborious thing. But okay, I forgot. I have to. <laughs> I have to do this weird. You guys remember what I'm talking about? Okay. Uh. I guess I need to empty my inventory out more. Hold on. We can put away maybe sand. We don't really need sand, yeah. Okay, and that way I can do the thing you guys remember I just did. It works really well. I was surprised to see how well. I, I had like no confidence that was going to work. Oh, okay. So unlock the scroll wheel, get her moving, and let's fence it. Okay, just like this. We're hugging that curve right here. Okay, no we're not. Okay, we messed up big time. <laughs> I think we messed up at two spots actually. Yeah, over here is the little, uh, there we go. Actually, no, that's fine. We're good. We didn't mess up too bad. Okay. Uh, okay, and then the same thing on this side. If only, like, to, like, right there, right? And then maybe a little bit of fence, like, right there. I don't think we really need any more, you know, fence right here. Okay, nice. So we have that path. Uh, there's a lot of solid, uh... A lot of solid fence right here. That cannot be the case. We have to, like I said, we have to make it uneven. Uneven as heck, dude. And maybe I don't want the fence to curve out that much right there. Yeah, that'll that'll be good. Okay, something like that. Sweet. And then I think I'm just going to craft some lanterns and put those over there. Maybe we could put the fence kind of like that. Yeah, like that. Okay. So now we just need to grab some lanterns and then I think with the path will look okay for now I don't really know what else to add to it like I said I think it needs more but if you have any suggestions build a fence path like that on your world take a screenshot of it when you've improved it and uh, send it my way because I am at a creative block on that path right now maybe I won't be next week but at least for right now I'm kind of blocked up on it I can't think of anything which is okay you know sometimes it's gonna happen my inventory is very oh that's right I have a lot more space than I think okay let me stack you, buddy. Okay. That's like 14 lanterns. That's not going to be enough lanterns, but it'll be enough for now. It'll be enough for now. It'll be enough for the director's cut. Okay, 32 lanterns. Sweet. 
because I want to add a ton of little stuff. I mean, obviously, I want to add more palm trees and stuff like that, but I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put that. Before I take the screenshot for the next episode, I am going to add like some palm trees around. I'm sorry, I'm not going to film it. I want to just chill out, watch some YouTube, listen to some music before I record the next episode. And uh, before I do that, what I'll, I'll just kind of build some palm trees and stuff. I promise you, you're not going to miss a whole lot. It's just palm trees. Okay, so something like that. And then, uh, I don't want to put down too many lanterns. But I think it'll be broken up visually whenever I add more to the fence. Because like, like I said, right now it's pretty like plain. It's not really a whole lot there. Yeah, I think we'll be good. Because on this side, there's not fence on both sides for the whole path. So it'll be a lot better over here, I think. Okay, and sweet. And then we'll do the same sort of thing over here. And then we'll put like a little lantern right there and like right there. There. Maybe not there. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. That is a lot of lanterns. I don't know. Maybe I'll end up reducing the number of lanterns at some point. Who knows? But yeah, that's the end of the episode for real. I, I don't have it in me to do anymore. When you see on the thumbnail, there's some palm trees. Maybe I'll record a little bit after I finish the palm trees and stuff. How about that? Okay. I'll see you guys in a bit though. Okay, guys, the end of the director's cut. I just got done doing this, and I feel much refreshed, and this looks really good. So I put some rooted dirt down. Um, I have some pretty nice palm trees. I didn't finish, but, you know, I'll finish at some point, okay? Gotta work incremental, incremental. And uh, put a couple flowering azalea bushes with some rooted dirt on the ground. I think it looks pretty good. I built this a mega giant, I mean, absolutely giant palm tree. Um, I even made its base nice and thick, and I think it looks really good. Um, from under it, it looks a little odd, uh, but if you were to look at it from kind of far away, it just looks like a big old palm tree. And uh, I'm happy with the way this thing turned out. I think it turned out pretty good. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and bye for real this time. <laughs> nice.